Hello everybody and welcome back to the Ultimate Fashion History with me, Amanda Halley. But much more importantly, welcome to Egypt. Here I am in Luxor. It's very noisy on the street with all the cars going by on the corniche. But we spent last night at the legendary Old Winter Palace Hotel in Luxor. Some of you might remember it from episodes of Poirot. And um, I'm going to give you a little tour of the hotel. Let's have a walk through and let me show you the incredible breakfast we had. But first, a little history. The hotel was built by the Upper Egypt Company in collaboration with Thomas Cook as one of his hotels that catered to European and American visitors to Egypt at the height of the Egyptomania phase. The architect was Leon Steinen, who made quite the name for himself with his swooping walkways and staircases at the hotel's entrance. And you can see from this picture just how close the hotel is to the River Nile. It is quite literally on the banks of the Nile. The hotel had its grand opening in 1907 with a picnic at the nearby Valley of the Kings, followed by a grand dinner at the hotel itself. And don't you love this vintage poster for the hotel? And guests have included the likes of Lord Carnarvon, Howard Carter, Agatha Christie and Winston Churchill. And Poirot fans will remember seeing the hotel in the 2004 episode of Death on the Nile. So, let's have a walk around and a walk through. Everything she does is to divine 
And her kiss goes through your head like wine Because it's love She may be plain, but just the same To you she's life's sweetest thing And though her name is just plain Jane Her smile makes you a king Because it's love Makes you go and buy a wedding ring Soon the stalk such happiness will bring Because it's love Yes, it's on that station There, toasts And look, there's like this what is going on here? Oh my goodness. What is this? This is like traditional Egyptian breakfast. Wow, what Roasted is that? Eggs. What is that? Roasted eggs. Roasted eggs? What's in this one? Molasses. Molasses. Falafel. Falafel. Oh, I love falafel. Stuff. I don't know what that is, but we can look it up. Rice pudding. Rice pudding. <laughs> Egyptian pie. Egyptian pie. This is fantastic. What's in that guy? It's mashed beans. It's mashed beans. Well, that's rice. Oh, look, these are like gratin potatoes. Oh, I. My dream is to have gratin potatoes every meal. What's this one? Beef, beef and bacon. bacon. Beef bacon. Looks good. There's a veggie of some sort. Oh my goodness, what are these? Chicken sausage. Chicken sausage. They looked like something else. <laughs> like giant maggots. And what is this? Mushrooms. Mushrooms. So that's that. All different kinds of meats. Oh look. Prunes. Pistachios. Cheeses. Oh my goodness. Salted fish. All kinds of stuff to make salads, I guess. <laughs> Breads. Look at all of these different jams. Oh, Rupert, look. Look at all this different honey. White honey with hazelnuts. White honey with black seeds. White honey with pistachio. All these different honeys and jams. Then over here, different yogurts, I guess. And then, all different kinds of fruits. I've never heard of some of these fruits. Have you heard of... Oh, it's, the, it's dates. I thought it said Davies. <laughs> like Davy Jones. <laughs> and then, over here, so many patisseries. Pan au chocolat. The kids were here. I know they'd just be heading over here, wouldn't they? Or well, George would be heading everywhere. Over here. More sweets. I've never seen a breakfast like this. More sweets. Oh my goodness. And then round here. <laughs> cakes. More cakes. Just fresh fruits. Right, I'm gonna grab a plate and get me some breakfast. Well, 
I just have time for one quick drink in the Royal Bar of the Winter Palace Hotel and I'm going to have to do a walkthrough. Beautiful couches, fabulous view, can't really see it, but trust me. Then look at this. This is so us, isn't it? <laughs> Old radios, books, I'm gonna walk through here. This is so sumptuous. This is the vintage Egyptian adventure that I wanted. It is so, so like going back in time. Feeling quite emotional actually, knowing that sort of Winston Churchill was here, boozing it up with cigars. Everybody was here. Agatha Christie, you name it. They were here and now I'm here and I can't believe it. And while he's not here, I just have to say that all of this is thanks to Rupert, who made my dream come true. I'm getting emotional, but it really did. Can't believe I'm here. And it's all thanks to, it's all thanks to him. And um, he doesn't like me to sort of give him praise on the UFH, but I'm sorry. I'm sorry, darling, you deserve it. This is my dream come true. <laughs>